Hi there. In this video, I'll give you a very brief tour of Coho so you know how to make the most of it during your tenancy. If you haven't done so already, I'd like to start off this video by first asking you to please ensure that you've downloaded the Coho app onto your mobile. Please ensure you enable all notifications from Coho on your mobile so that you don't miss anything important. Thank you. Once your onboarding is complete, your Coho dashboard will look something like this. You can access the message center, tap on the hamburger on the top left, and then tap messages. In the message center, your most recent conversations will appear at the top. You can create a new message by clicking on the blue plus symbol. Remember, Coho is also available on desktop if you ever need to upload files from your computer. If you tap on the three dots at the top right, you can mark the message unread to remind you to come back to it later, or you can archive the conversation. To view archived conversations, click on the icon furthest along to the right with the downward arrow. You can unarchive conversations, and then to go back to your inbox, tap on the archive icon again. The speech bubble icon next to the archive icon shows all of your unread messages only. You can also create a new maintenance issue from within the message center by clicking on report issue. Each month you can complete a tenancy vibe check to let us know how we are doing and how we can improve our services. There may occasionally be ads appearing at the top here that you can dismiss. And lastly, there may be actions for you to take for example, viewing compliance documents we have updated for the property. It is important that you click on view for each of these. The my room section at the top gives you a shortcut to the two most common actions, reporting a maintenance issue or sending us a message. And you never have to ask us to send you your tenancy agreement because you can view and download that here as well. You can also leave us a review here. The next section is maintenance. If you need to report a maintenance issue, you can also do that here. You can select from a pre-existing list of maintenance issues, or if the issue isn't listed, just select the one that is most similar. Before creating the maintenance issue that we will instantly receive, Coho will ask a few more questions and enable you to write a more detailed description and upload attachments. Please always give as much detail as you can when reporting an issue and upload pictures and videos if possible. There will be a new message thread related to the maintenance issue in the message center, so you can message us about it anytime you want. The next important area for you to know about is the welcome pack. Here you will find loads of really important information, including our 24 seven contact number for emergencies, local council bin collection dates and bin guides, Wi-Fi codes, if applicable, the location of fuse boards, meters, and the water stopcock, bank details for rent payments, which you can also find in your tenancy agreement. The Premier Properties Handbook, which is a detailed guide on your tenancy and how to live in one of our properties, and digital versions of the manuals for all of the appliances in your property. Next is the My Rent section. Just to be clear, as this has happened many times in the past, Deposit and rent are paid into two different bank accounts. That's right, the rent is not paid into the same account as the bank account you pay your deposit into. Secondly, rent is not paid through Coho. You can pay rent via normal bank transfer or set up a standing order. You can find the rent payment bank account details in the welcome pack or in your tenancy agreement. Though you can't physically pay your rent in Coho, the My Rent section shows a record of all money due from you, past and future. Please make sure you use your assigned payment reference when making rent payments, because our bank account links to Coho and automatically updates the rent schedules. If you do not use the correct payment reference, it can cause issues in the system and may not mark off your rent as being paid. This can result in you receiving an incorrect late rent reminder. If you foresee any issues regarding paying rent on time, please contact us in advance so that we can find a solution. The property access section shows any key safe codes we have made available for you. Every property has a front door key safe to allow access when you first move into the property and then for emergency use only after that. Every tenant gets their own front door key and bedroom key 
which you will find in your room when you move in, unless other arrangements have been made. There are also key safes inside each property with a spare key for each room, but you'll need to call us on our 24 seven phone number to get the code. Finally, you will find all compliance documents relating to the property, as well as your deposit protection certificate on Coho in the compliance section. We pride ourselves on offering the best service to our tenants, and that includes being 100% up to date with all compliance. I hope you now have a good understanding of how to use Coho to ensure a smooth stay in one of our properties, and I and the rest of the team look forward to seeing you throughout the year on our occasional visits.